Right, so uh, doing coil springs on a punto. Uh, two front coil springs, pull the wheels off, do the island filter on it, check lights, levels, things like that. Uh, failed MOT on coil springs being broken. Um, so you've got your, your top mount section. Um, so I'm not using the hydraulic one, uh, just using the normal scary ones that are on a, a screw and if you make a mistake they're gonna hit you in the face type of thing sorry I've, i'm still doing this with my phone but i have got um an action camera don't know if it's any good like but we'll see um i should have probably brought it this morning so might end bad this Quite a long string. So these are Mac Tools spring compressors. They give you these like hooks to hold it on. Obviously, it's all in your mind because if it will go ding, it's not saving you from anything. Just so you know. <laughs> Right, I'm sorry if you can hear the music and I get done this video for copyright and things. It's just background music, probably get moaned that for. But we'll see. Um, so yeah, um, they're off. As you can see, coil spring broken. That can go in my scrap pile. Um, so. rid of that. So you want to push that down. It's rising up a bit. See the trouble is was it knocking when you was driving it. It is rebounding. It is going up ever so slightly. There's no oil missing. So I've got to be careful with them because you can end up with you'll put a new spring on and you can end up having issues with a knocking noise so you're driving down the road and you get a knock like a a dum 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 noise over speed bumps and sometimes it's also thought to be drop links and it's not um sorry about the pot here right so i just check part numbers Part numbers because need to know if they're a handed coil spring. Oh, dropping everything. Seven four one. Yeah, so they're not handed. They're the same thing. Please excuse my hairy legs. Coil spring. So you are meant to do coil springs in pairs, just so you know. Um, but obviously, if it is your family friend and your mate, and just to get the car going and back in the game of driving down the road, you do one spring. You know what I mean? Just to help them out, because they say if you only do one, you're gonna end up with one side a good spring. And then one a weak spring on the other side. Um, get rid of all the dust and all the rubbish at the bottom of the coil or the, the damper plate, we'll call it, or a shock absorber. Some people in the motorsport industry, when you say shocker, they get rather offended. Don't know why. They call them a, a damper and spring setups or your dampers. You have your, because they're adjustable on race cars, so you have adjustable dampers. Road cars, not adjustable, they're just set from factory. So that's quite a long spring, that. So I'm going to compress that spring. 
going to do that. So I'll come back once I'm all set up and I've got the top mount on and it's all buzzed on. Right, so I've got this spring back on. Yeah, I'm doing, doing a YouTube video. So, new spring's all on. Um, and it didn't fly off and hit me in the face, which is always a good thing. Hit it, Jake! Yeah. They're all done. Bit of grease on the bottom. Um it just stops metal on metal contact and just sees a difference in the, the surface. So it's not gonna wear the spring out or anything. Um obviously top nut buzz down with the gun. Um don't know the torque spec. Um Probably 38 newton meters or something like that. But if you want to use a technical data, then that's up to you. Um, so what I like to do is put a bit of grease on that top bit, and also on that because that sits in the bit of light. So that sits in there where you can see the marks. See so, ya. Yeah. Right, so uh, get the torch again. There we go. Better lighting, a lot better now. So new springs in. Um, so I'll put a bit of grease on that, put it back on. Um, obviously, just nip with a gun. And then once it's all down on the ground, you can check it with a ratchet. Make sure your top nut's good. Put a bit of copper grease on the threads of the drop link. Little bit of copper grease on your pinch bolt for your shocker and damper. Um, I like putting copper grease on nuts and bolts, fasteners and things. Just comes off easier in the future if it's gonna be a regular customer or even if it's your own car and you're keeping it for a few years and you're gonna end up doing more work on it over the years and you're driving and things like that. It's going to come apart a lot easier with grease on it than having nothing on at all. Um, so in the UK we're in September now, so we've had our summer, so we're getting a bit cloudy grey. Um, so it's going to start raining soon. And another note, my black transit recovery truck has got 29 days left of MOT, so I really need to do a coil spring on that as well. And some other bits and pieces for the MLT. Heads back. Yeah, I think I did that. Did I tell you that the head's back for this? I've got the head back for this anyway. Um, so that's all been flattened out. Obviously, you can't get a thick enough gasket on these, which I found out. It's just a metal shim, if you like, between the block and the head. Um, so that's a bit crap. Um, I did have a go at cleaning it up. Well, it's a bit more on it yet. Um, I've got the cat at work to the three studs out for your downpipe um, they always either snap or break up yeah uh, I also did a time chain on one of these at work on Saturday now that was a pain because built it all back up made sure my timing was right um, and wouldn't start straight away and I messed about for about an hour and it, it was actually a faulty crank sensor the chain had stretched that much and just yeah just been that bad that it had killed the crank sensor um, and it was just because it was the chain was that warm it was just making it run so yeah um, there's one partially done so obviously I buzz them nuts buzz them pinch bolts buzz the drop link and just check them with a spanner after um, just need to check on the nut because your nuts going in so that's causing the pinch of the bolt um, so you just need to check your, the nuts um, as long as the nuts are tight you don't need to check the other side of the bolt as long as the nuts are tight and it's not spinning with the nut then it's tight um, so yeah that's it um, alright so we're on the other side here I better turn this radio off before I get on that just unplug that um, so what's the shock absorber uh, well, don't want a shock absorber, sorry. I'm doing the coil spring on it now. Um, possibly once 
front pads and discs because they're low but my mates an MOT test that's who we take all our MOT work to um, but steel wheel can't look so good at the wheel and it's only a visual inspection on an MOT so yeah. so what will probably end up happening is I'll do the work I need to do on it and then end up getting front pads and dish for it and do that another night so yeah as you can see it's probably about two mil if they're on them they want changing and the back side of the disc is a bit wavy um, obviously you've got a bit of a lip on the disc it does look a little bit thin on that outer disc section there but it is a vented disc it, if it was solid and they were all right then I probably wouldn't bother that much I just put pads in it but yeah I don't like putting pads on old vented dish usually that's just me just people do just to get sales at garages and things like that for people so as you can see one broken coil spring get rid of that we spin it no it is clamp that down a bit more so all I'm doing clamping it down just so the spring can move free so my top mount can move put you there see how I'm gonna make or break this see can we see kind of see kind of so close that off not the Top mount actually dust cover stops all the uh, dust and foreign things, dirt, water going in and killing the seals on the, the damper. So I had one uh, on a, a Nissan Note at work, rear spring, and the bottom section of the spring broke off. Actually got well, round that there. ended. I have to edit it when I get home, and but yeah, you get the idea. Bottom of the spring there, so buzz them off. Obviously it is on the number two side. That's why it's going slow. So, not a bad. Ah, you go. Oh, it's all breaking now. There we go. We got it. There you go. There you got it. Wind them. Get rid of that. So yeah, I'm not sure what um, bit of the video it had ended on. I was rambling on a little bit and talking about transit. The Mark 6 had the PCM relay fault. Um, so that wanted a fuse box and a loom really. Um, I got a bit fed up of it doing wiring repairs on it because water had just emptied itself down the loom and just made everything full of green crusty stuff. Um, so yeah, um, so I had a fella or a viewer um, that asked me for my mobile number, I have given it out in the past to people, but I just get mithered a lot, and yeah. It is probably about actually on one of my videos, on some of them LPG ones. And yes, I will be making a proper LPG video. Obviously I can't do one on this because that's already gas converted this of course. Um, but I have bought myself a new Clio. Um, so mine is the black wheel phase two. Um, trouble I find is when you're a mechanic, you kind of 
fix everyone else's cars and not your own. So I ended up having to put new suspension bushes or bottom arm bushes, top and bottom, on my Clio. Um, yeah, did them. And put ball joint on it. What else did I do? Put drop links on it. Put a new exhaust clamp. They are so expensive on Renaults. Um, so you know the exhaust clamp that fits on like the Megans and things like that. 15 quid just for a, a rubber mount that breaks because it delaminates the glue. So yeah, um, bit of grease on the spiky bit. Just works better. Grease on top. There's the nut for that. So, quite stupid design really, you've got your scuttle panel, holes in it, water comes off the roof, drains into here, that's meant to be your drain, but yeah, Fiat's lovely wisdom decided they'd put a wiring loom there as well. Yeah, it's even better. Great. Who, what do I know? And who do I know? That is a question. Right, um, so yeah. Um, You've got the idea of doing a coil spring on a punto. Go do the oil filter on it, yeah, it just three easy on these. Oil cap, dipstick, sump plug, oil filters down there. So yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, please leave a like, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching.